family is what this story is about up and down. It's the family of the United States. It's the family of New York. It's the family of prosecutors and police. It's the family of the five and literally their families. And it's our family. Uh, this was made uh, by my daughter and my son-in-law and I. And it was interesting. There were no fights, uh, no dishes hurled across the kitchen. Uh, it, usually two of us always felt one way if one felt the other. And it was an easy democratic process. Some people have asked, how can you make a documentary with three directors, especially three directors who are related literally in, in one way or another. This was a great exercise for us in the edit room as we were hashing this out. I think we found that we were often all on the same page, that we let the facts guide us, that we let the five and their wonderful storytelling and the strong and raw emotions of this drive the direction of where we were going while always remaining rooted in fact. When we did have disputes, we could wrestle with them and work them out, but it, uh, it often led to a better result than what we had before. It was a really great experience, actually. I had never really worked in film. I'd been around it my whole life. I grew up around it. You know, there are photographs of me standing over a uh, the Steenbeck at about one and a half, pretending to edit. And there are a couple of shots of me playing softball with my team as a middle schooler in the baseball film. But I'd never really worked on a film before. I knew this story, and that was how I, I came to the family business. And so I brought that knowledge, but I learned so much about how the films actually get made and about storytelling by working as a team with my dad and with Dave, both of whom have much more experience than I did uh, in the filmmaking business. This was a passion project for Sarah for a decade. She cares immensely about the truth and getting this right, and she cares a great deal about the five, but it was really just important that she get the story right. I think we all felt like it was in ways a once in a lifetime story and we really wanted to get it right. And so we lived with it in the office, out of the office while we were shooting. It really defined our lives while we were in the trenches on it. I came to this story in 2003 first and I've been in one way or another trying to tell this story for now nearly a decade. And I, I think it speaks a lot to the story that it's something that I couldn't let go of and that I've been very happily engaged with this story for so long. I cannot begin to tell you uh, what it's like to work with somebody who you remember in diapers crawling underneath the editing table when you were saying, we'll, we'll, we'll be done in a second, not now, not now. And suddenly uh, this mature and incredibly smart young woman whose sense of fairness that was there from the very beginning. As a little girl, she had this just ferocious sense of fairness. And I think that that was engaged in all cylinders in this, that she felt so outraged and angry at this unfairness that it, it compelled a decade of her life's effort uh, to try to just bring that unfairness to light. Dave and I, see in Sarah this incredible force. And then he ran with the day-to-day -day and, and they let me uh, hang out. 